discuss a new topic the RTU the RTU known as the remote terminal unit then we are going to study the architecture of RTU how the how the RTU work and in the last we are going to study the need and the uses of the RTU in the modern industry so come to the definition RTU is a microprocessor based electronics device used in industry to control the process various process it will transfer the data collect the data from the machinery and transfer the data to the SCADA SCADA is in last class we already discussed supervisory control and data acquisition it will the RTU collect the data by the help of the sensor from the machine uh, sensor is the one who collect the data from the machine from the pump from the motor like sensor will explain us that machine is working or not the pump is working or not maybe the machine is off or say pump is off or the pressure in the pipeline is high or pressure is low so we get all that data by the help of the sensor and sensor give that data to RTU and RTU transfer this data the remote terminal unit from the remote location it transfer the data to the your main computer the master station the to the SCADA and why the help of the HMI HMI is known as the human machine interface by the help of the human machine interface you can say that the screen right now you are watching that video on your mobile phone on your laptop so that screen you are watching it's known as the HMI so by the help of the HMI from the human machine interface you can see that the data may be in the form of videography may be in the form of photo and may be in the graphical form both analog and the digital signal and transfer the data to the, your master station RTU basically work or powered by the AC voltage and sometimes it's working by the help of the battery also RTU transfer the data from the remote terminal unit like uh, your plant is situated far from your main center so from there to your main center RTU transfer the data how it's transfer the data mostly it's transfer the data wireless data maybe in the form of the radio waves but we can use the lane cable also in next slide we are going to discuss the architecture of RTU how the RTU work first of all in this figure here this is our plant maybe this is our nuclear power plant or you can say that this is our refinery it's an intelligent electronics device okay so from this device by the help of the sensor or from the PLC our RTU get the signals collect the data by from the help of the sensor we can say that then our RTU transfer that data maybe the using the fiber optics maybe using by the lane cable or maybe it's transfer the data by the help of the radio microwave okay by the help of the radio waves then that side our SCADA SCADA is known as the supervisory control and data acquisition system SCADA will receive the signals and show on our screen screen is what by the help of the screen the human and machine interface okay screen is our human machine interface and here the engineer is sitting and then engineer can see the data which is coming by the help of the RTU so it's working the sensor RTU radio signals SCADA and HMI then why the help of the HMI our engineer give command to the SCADA or to the screen on this like a laptop is HMI right now for you so you give command on your laptop you press the enter mean okay you wanna switch on or switch off the motor or pump so by the help of the HMI interface human machine interface you give command then it transfer the command to the SCADA and SCADA transfer all that signals 
to the RTU and RTU convey that signal to the PLC okay in PLC what did PLC give signals to the actuator that's our actuator and then finally hmm, operation is closed okay that's the architecture of the RTU next one is the uses of the RTU why we need the RTU in the industry what are the uses of the RTU normally the RTU use for the remote station unmanned remote station to control the fields and to control the process to control the equipments we are using the RTU like a, no one like to go in the n nuclear power plant maybe there is some harmful radiation is there so what will we do we we are using the RTU normally it's use the wireless communication to communicate from one place to another place to communicate from the, your industry to your master control system it's using the wireless communication it's used in nuclear power plant as well as it's used in the oil and gas pipeline to monitor the oil and the gas pipeline because oil and gas pipeline are it's very difficult to monitor by the help of the human human labor or human worker because we need the large number of worker so we are using the RTU pipeline by the help of the RTU operator can monitor all their substation from a centralized location and he can see the directly the picture maybe there is a substation is 20 km far from the central system maybe the 10 km far from the central system easily he can see and operate all their substation thank you that's all about the rtu please subscribe my channel i have number of views but the subscriber are very less please i request all the viewers please click on the subscribe button also thank you